Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the promise.all uh, function works in JavaScript. Um, so basically, this function right here um, allows you to perform multiple asynchronous operations and then do something once all of those operations have completed or have been fulfilled. Um, so it works by essentially returning a promise then you also pass in multiple different promises and then only once all of those promises um, are fulfilled, that is when the returned promise is also uh, fulfilled. Um, so um, let's go inside the text editor right here. I'm gonna be using uh, the fetch API as an example because obviously uh, fetch is one of the uh, more popular features to use promises. Okay, so here I have uh, two JSON files inside this data directory. Um, we have users.json and we have colors.json. So essentially, we're going to be loading uh, these two JSON files using fetch. And then only once both have been fully loaded, um, we're going to be obviously using the promise.all function to achieve that and then do something after they've both been loaded. Okay, so um, let's firstly go inside the JavaScript right here and uh, make a constant for the fetch request for the users JSON file. So we can say uh, const fetch users is equal to and then fetch and of course pass in here data slash users dot JSON. We can then do a second one of course for fetch colors equal to uh, fetch colors dot JSON. So now we have um, both of these uh, promises right here. So now, as I said, um, we're going to use the promise.all function to, of course, do something once both of these resolve so um, or be fulfilled. So we can say right here promise.all just like this. Now, this function is going to take in an array of promises, so we can specify an array just like this and pass in fetch users and fetch colors. Okay, so now we can say dot then. So once both of these have been uh, fulfilled, we're going to run this. So inside here, um, the value you get, so this value right here from this promise is essentially an array of these two, um, uh, these two values or these two resolved values. Okay, so Essentially, if I was to console.log values, we're going to see an array of two values, uh, two responses in this case for fetch users and fetch colors. So I'm going to save this, go inside the browser, refresh here. In the dev console, we get an array of two responses. Okay, so obviously we've got one for the users.json and one for the colors.json. And that is basically how um, the promise.all function works. So Let's take this a step further. Um, and in this case right here, of course, we're using fetch on JSON files. So uh, we need to actually convert them to JSON um, before they can be used. So here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna say return. We're gonna use promise.all again because essentially we wanna be able to um, you know, uh, convert both of these or parse both of these uh, responses into JSON. So we can say return promise.all and we can pass in here simply the values for now, but we can say here obviously because this is an array, right? And this takes an array, so we're going to pass this array into here, but then of course here we need to call the dot JSON method on each. Um, elements in the array. So we can say values dot map for each response or short for R or um, R short for response. We can say R dot JSON just like this. So now we're returning um, from here. This is basically uh, going to be an array once again of promises. This time the promise returned from the JSON method on each one of these responses. Okay, um, so now we can simply then say dot then, and once again, since we use the all um, function, this right here is going to be um, an array. So we can use values once again, and now if our console.log values, this time around, we, sh uh, we should see an array of arrays because these two right here are both arrays once they've been uh, converted into JavaScript objects or JavaScript arrays. 
So I'm going to save this now and refresh once again. This time we can see we get here in the console an array of two elements, um, both arrays, of course, the users and the colors. So pretty cool. Um, now, in this particular case, because we we know what we're passing in, we may want to make use of array destructuring for this particular case right here. So um, I can put parentheses here and then using array destructuring, using these two square brackets, I can say here, firstly, I can say users, comma, colors. So now uh, with array destructuring, we're basically saying that the first element in the array uh, being or the array from the res uh, from the resolve is going to be the users. So this one right here. The second one is going to be the colors. So element one and element two. So now we can simply say console.log users and console.log colors just like this. I've also got a video on array destructuring if you're interested. So we have here users and colors. So now I'm going to save this and refresh one last time. And of course, here we now get the, um, the uh, two arrays, the users separately. And of course, we get the colors separately. Alrighty. And um, one last thing for the promise.all function is going to be how it handles errors. So basically, um, errors execute in, or sorry, uh, errors um, get uh, caught in order. So this means essentially because we're doing uh we're doing json but well, we're going to be um causing an error using json parsing so basically i'm going to be uh getting rid of a double um, or a talking mark here whatever you want to call it from here so now we expect of course this users.json parsing to fail so since this one fails and since this is um this is the first value inside here for the json conversion the catch is going to happen on this one first. So we can say E right here, dot catch, E is going to be the JSON parsing error. So I can console.log here and say caught. Then I can say console.log E just like this. If I was to save this and refresh, we get here, of course, this one here. So now if I was to um, uh, put an error in this colors file, save this and refresh, we get the same error because, of course, um, this one happened first because it's first in the list. So the error gets caught here first. If I was to, of course, um, fix this up once again, if my keyboard layout doesn't change to English United Kingdom, let me change this real quick. So, so double quote right there again. Um, this is now fine. So now we should expect to see colors having the error. I'm going to save this and refresh. We can uh, see this 166 position here, that's for the big file. Refresh now. The position is 12, so it's changed. And obviously, the 12 position is going to be for the smaller file, the colors file. So yeah, um, essentially, errors and exceptions or whatever, they all happen um, in order. So the first one comes first, then the second one. Okay, and uh, that is the promise.all function in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.